Uh, today, I have decided maybe you'd like to know about this little thing called a home chef meal. Um, so I'm gonna make my home chef dinner with you guys and show you what it's all about. If you've always, if you've ever been curious about what it is, um, I started, sorry, I got a mess like everywhere in my kitchen's torn up, but we're gonna clean it. <laughs> I started probably a few months ago, I started um, with a subscription service called Home Chef. They will send you, it's a subscription service that you um, you purchase weekly that they, or you could do bi-weekly or monthly or whatever you're, to your liking. They will send you a box of the ingredients for the dinners to your door for however long you want them to. You can go in and you can pre-select what meals you want first, or you can let them surprise you, which I've done that before too. And, um, my neighbor gave me one of their boxes because they were going out of town and couldn't eat it. I said, did you want it? And I said, sure. So we tried it and it was the salmon dish. It's like salmon miso something or other. And my daughter made it for me and it was amazing. And I know some people get kind of icked out about like having stuff like food shipped to your door like that. But I think since COVID, everybody is now used to having everything shipped to your door. You get meat shipped to your door, you get produce shipped to your door, you get dog food, diapers, whatever shipped to your door now. And so now it's almost the norm to not have it, or it's the norm to have food like that shipped to your door. So this has made my life very easy because I'm a very busy mom. My kids are constantly being shuffled around in the car because they go to tutors or they go to co-op or they go to their sports lessons. And so I am a chauffeur and a cook and a guidance counselor as a homeschool mom. And I don't always have time to make meals from scratch. Sometimes I do freezer meals and things like that too. But this home chef deal has really been a lifesaver. And I don't have to think about what I'm gonna have for dinner. I just know when we get these meals and I set it to four, servings we have done two servings for a family of four the portions are smaller but if you put a bag salad with it or whatever it totally like fills it out and nobody really notices a difference this time i did a four person setting because my kids are getting bigger and they're hungrier and they've been doing all these sports and they're starving whenever they get home and it works great last night we had these amazing burgers that had a um like a uh oh gosh like kind of like a demi gloss like a, um balsamic vinegar, like gloss, glossé, whatever, over arugula on this big patty with this like cream cheese, creme fraiche, rosemary mixture on top of it on a pretzel bun. Y'all, oh my gosh. In the South, we say that makes you want to slap your mama. And I think it did. <laughs> so <laughs> anyways, tonight is this chicken dish with zucchini. I don't know, we're gonna be surprised. I'm gonna unbox or unbag what I have, I'm gonna take you step by step and I'm gonna show you what it is that um, they give you and the ingredients and how it all comes together and how it works. So, let's get started. Everybody say hi to Lucy. Hi Lucy. Okay, we're gonna go out here. Now, I don't need you to lay down in the hallway. We're gonna go out here into the garage because this is, everybody has a garage refrigerator, right? And this is typically where I keep it. Now, judgment free zone. This is not the cleanest garage in the world. Or with garage refrigerator in the world. The garage actually looks in pretty good shape right now. But I'm gonna grab these bags right here and we're gonna head on out into the house. Okay, so I just went and got all the things. They give you this is like a two serving person bag that has all of the ingredients that you'll need. And then they put the meat separate in a separate bag, okay? So I got two of these bags to go for a four person serving dinner. Um, then the other thing that they give you that you will need is a recipe card. So what we're making tonight is this creamy sun-dried tomato chicken and it comes with zucchini. And I mean, you do not have to be a cook 
to do this. Some people might be intimidated by this and say like, I'm not a cook. I don't know how to, I burn water. Okay, I get it. <laughs> but they dumb it down for us here and they put pictures along with instructions so you don't get lost and it's not so intimidating. Now there are other um, companies similar to this that will um, even simplify things even more. This company even has like express meals that you would just maybe stick in the microwave if you want to. Sorry, I hate it when I get those little drop down bars on my phone if I'm getting a text. I should have put this in airplane mode, but I didn't. Anyway, so this is what I have to go off of. And then it tells me step by step what I need to do um, to make this meal. And it tells you how long it's gonna take you to do. Oh my word, it's gonna take me 15 minutes. <laughs> um, I think, let's see, what time is it? Um, okay, it's 7.30, so the kids and the husband are gonna be home in 15 minutes, so it's perfect. Actually, I can just get it done now, so that way I can be done filming this by the time they walk in the door. Perfect, okay. So now I'm gonna get out a cutting board because typically you need a cutting board to be able to do these things. And it looks like I'm gonna need a skillet. So I'm gonna get out a skillet. Y'all, I also have homemade bread in the oven right now because I felt like I really needed some homemade bread with my dinner tonight. It's my birthday today. So I'm like, I want homemade bread. I'm gonna eat some homemade bread. So I'm gonna put this skillet over here. And as I'm preparing and doing things, then um, I'll move you over towards where I am. Okay, so it says before you cook, if you're using any fresh produce, thoroughly rinse and pat dry. Okay, so let's unbag, shall we? All right, so we've got, it looks like some sun-dried tomato mixture here. This is a pouch of cream sauce. It'll even tell you a label on here, um, what it is. This says poultry, poultry seasoning. Then this is some sort of crunchy topping. Then we have Italian panko breadcrumbs. Um, crushed red pepper. See, it's like in a little portion, so you just know you have to pour the whole thing in there, and there's really no measuring. All right. Then more poultry seasoning. Okay. Zucchinis look pretty good. I got one like weird funky spot on here. I have had from time to time like some produce that was a little bit on the uh, side but they're really quick to correct anything that might have gone wrong. I mean, it is produce for crying out loud. So, all right. And if you want to alternate, like if you don't want chicken with this dish, you could get a steak with it. You could do pork or shrimp. They give you options to be able to like switch any of this stuff out. So I'm gonna take all my ingredients out of the bag first because you wanna be able to have them all out so you can see everything and it's easy to reach. I'm gonna wash these. Okay, so now I'm gonna pat these zucchini dry. Okay, and it says, first thing is to pat the chicken dry. So we're gonna, so we're gonna pat the chicken dry and season on both sides with poultry seasoning. Place a medium nonstick pan over medium heat and add one tablespoon of olive oil. Add chicken to a hot pan and cook until brown and chicken reaches a minimum internal temperature of 165 degrees. Okay, you just kinda gotta know, like, is your chicken gonna be springy or not springy? If it's springy, it's not done yet. Like, if it's spongy, if it's firm, it's done. Um, remove from the burner while chicken cooks for the rest of the recipe. Okay, so I don't need to cut my zucchini yet, I need to worry about this chicken. So I'm gonna turn on my burner and I'm gonna put y'all over here. I'm gonna turn on my burner and we're gonna get this chicken party started. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and drop this chicken into 
the skillet. I'm gonna get out some tongs. And I've seasoned it well on this side. I've got my olive oil in there. So I'm gonna do that. I haven't seasoned it on the other side yet. Yep, slippery stuff. All right, now I'm gonna season the other side. didn't get as much. Oh well. Anyway, I'm going to go wash these off and bring my pet board to the sink. I tell you one thing I've really enjoyed about these meals is their chicken has been so tender. Even whenever I purchase steak, that's also been very good and tender. So the quality of the meat has been very, very good as far as I can tell. All right, all clean. Okay, let's see if we need to flip this over yet. Yep. That looks nice. All right. Let's go ahead and work on the zucchini. We're gonna cut that. Okay, now it says on the next instructions about the zucchini, you're gonna trim the zucchini ends and cut into one four slices on an angle. Okay, so, didn't I have a knife? I did not. Okay, got these, these are, these were cleaned off. So I'm not quite ready to stick them in the skillet yet, but I mean, we'll get started, right? And then I'll put on this paper towel right here. And then I'll throw away those in pieces here in a minute. Okay. You do have to be careful with um, just like having them be too cold. See, it's not bad, but it just means that it got too cold. Maybe my refrigerator ran too cold or something, and it just made that. So, I mean, I think it's still fine. It's just got that little spot on it. Unless it's slimy, you know, you don't want slimy. That means it's just not good. You should just throw the whole thing out. You don't want anybody to get sick. But I just love these. You know what else this has taught us? It's how to be adventurous eaters. I have a really picky child that does not like to eat all the things he would rather eat chicken nuggets macaroni and cheese and he's 13. my daughter on the other hand will kind of eat mostly whatever she's cool with whatever and what's hysterical is that when they were babies she was pickier as a baby and my son ate everything anything i put on his high chair he ate it so I don't know how this like turned around, but it did. Anyway, oh, I wonder if I should, I'm gonna take off these like end pieces because it did tell me to trim the ends. And I did not do that. I guess that would just make it kind of woody or whatever. I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and slice this one up. And this one has that bad piece on the side of it. So once we cut it open and see what it looks like, I mean, it might not be any big deal on the inside. I don't know. Doesn't look like it. I mean, here we got into the bruise part. I don't see anything on there that would make me wanna, you know, discard it. So I would suggest just always like looking first. I need to flip this chicken. You can also, if you want to just get a good sear on your chicken, you can always finish your chicken in the oven. I find I get the juiciest chicken breast whenever I sear it in a pan first, get it brown on both sides on a higher heat, 
and then I finish it off in the um, oven at 350 for like 30 minutes and it just seals in all the juices and everything and it's just so good that way. Y'all just smelling good in here with that bread rising in the oven. I've got, I'll, I have that on a short reel and um, have y'all ever watched short reels? Apparently, it's a thing now. I know what our short film on YouTube, they have like reels that you can watch through Facebook and Instagram, but I'm trying to do more things to just be more versatile, I guess. Okay, all right, so I got all those zucchini chopped, and let me get out a dish for the chicken. I'm just going to do this right here. I got something so like whenever I need these chickens to rest, then here I'll bring you back over to the chicken so you can see what's going on in the skillet. Okay, perfect. So right now it's still a little springy. It's got a little give in it. So I would not. It's, it's got to keep cooking. You don't want underdone chicken. You're just asking for trouble. So let it, I'm going to turn the heat to like more of a medium heat because I had it on high heat before. And I'm going to see what it does. Alright, so the next thing, let me turn you around here. Okay, so the next thing that we have here is we need to make this sauce. See, it's this sauce right here. Okay, um, it has combined the cream base, which is this and pesto, which I guess this is sun-dried tomato pesto. Okay, with, um, and, oh, we have to microwave it. My microwave is broken right now. Oh, what a crummy time to have a broken microwave. Okay, well, I can do it in a little pot or something. Okay, um, heat it thoroughly for one to two minutes. Be careful, carefully remove the microwave and add red pepper flakes to taste. I don't like a whole lot of red pepper flakes in my stuff. Um, so I probably just put a little amount in there just to add a little heat, but um, not a whole lot. And then that's it. Okay, well, I lie. We gotta cook the zucchini. Okay, and I'll, I'll get to that part next. But now I'm gonna make this sauce and we're gonna figure it out uh, with cooking it over the stove instead of a microwave because my microwave is broken. All right, I've got to take this chicken out. It's done now. See, it's really firm, and you don't want it overdone because it's going to be dry. So I'll put the chicken in here. And now I'm going to add my zucchini. Of it. Ah. Well, I only lost one. That's not too bad. There you go. Add some olive oil to it. Stir it around. My directions say, all right, olive oil, add some salt and stir. Then add another tablespoon of olive oil and the panko um, and crispy onions until it coats the zucchini and remove it from the burn. All right. Okay, salt. I have a little salt dish. I don't always like dipping my hands in this, so I'll pour a little bit. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Too much. Don't want to over salt it, that's for sure. I'll put the rest back in there. Alright. Y'all, this is the burger we had the other night. Doesn't that look good? That's so good. That was amazing. Alright, we're going to let that cook. Okay. Then... 
I got all these packets here to make my life so happy. I'm gonna turn on my fire and get my scissors out, okay? And then I'm gonna do like, I'm gonna do like so. This, y'all, this is so easy. I feel like anybody, it's a great way to get your kids to help you with dinner too. If you are a busy parent and you want your kids to help cook, this will help them have some culinary skills and feel confident in making things because it's not a bunch of guesswork. It's really quite simple. As you can see, it's just fantastic. All right, that one's pretty good. You gotta kinda like squish it down so that whenever you cut it open, it doesn't come all like four out. All right, my kids and my husband just made it home. So, I'm probably gonna stop this video here in a second. Oh, let's get some more of that on there. Oh, ah. <laughs> now I need a paper towel. Give this a stir. So we're done burn. I got four of these packets. And the cool thing is too, you can keep these recipes and put them in a binder that come with like a three hole punch. And then if you wanna make it again on your own, you have all the, they give you the measurements and everything. So you can make it again if you have a favorite. Stir it up and put it on a lower heat. Did they say to add salt? No, red pepper flakes. Okay, so that's it. Sometimes this cream base already has salt in it. You don't need to add anything extra. And I'm going to add me some of those red pepper flakes. Not a lot though, because we don't like a lot. So like, that's about it. Okay, so the next step is I'm putting all, more olive oil on here and I have to, these panko crumbs right here that come with it and these like crunchy onions, like the kind you put on top of green bean casserole. And you're supposed to coat the zucchini. Really well with the panko crumbs. Okay. So now I'm going to stir that up. So to get it nice and coated. And remember, zucchini is going to keep cooking even after um, you pull it off the burner. I feel like this is almost enough with these crispy onions. It's a lot. Sometimes you have extra ingredients left over if like you don't want to use a whole bunch of something and I just save them and put them in my pantry and then if I need like, cause sometimes I get like brown sugar or whatever. All right, so that's that. I'm gonna turn that burner off. So all in all, these meals from Home Chef have really worked out 
very, very well for me and my family. They're, as you can see, they're very easy to put together. It's really, you can pick your, um, your level of comfort as far as whether it's more of an expert level or you need something that's more simple and basic. They do have those options too. So I would just suggest go to um, Home Chef. I will post a link in the bio for if you're interested in a Home Chef box. And um, feel free to use my link for that. And go ahead and give this a try and let your kids try it too. You're going to love this. It's going to simplify your life and it's going to help you get a homemade meal on the table for your family.